we know what a grind this event is, so is there a bit of a relief factor that you get an easier game and an early off the ice uh, at this stage in the event? Yeah, for sure. Uh, cracking a five in the first end, it kind of took the edge off of a really intense, what I thought would have been game. Um, but, you know, we got some breaks in the first end. They missed a couple un uncharacteristic hit and rolls that left us an easy shot for five. Do you, are you scoreboard watching at all, standings watching, or is it just a matter you just got to go out and win your own games and let the chips fall where they may? Yeah, I think we kind of have to just stay focused on us. I, I think it's hard not to kind of know what the standings are, but I find it hard to look at the scoreboards because it's just so busy out there when there's only the two of you. You're kind of up and down the sheet all the time, so there's really not a lot of time to look around, I find. Having said that, you know who's in your pool. You know who are the, the teams that you'd expect to be there at the end. Do you put any particular more focus on getting up for a game like that at all, or can you afford to do that even? Um, not, not really. Like it's, uh, we're at the trials. Every team's good, so uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Uh, for us, you know, we had a tough game this morning, so coming out the second game and playing better ourselves was the only thing we could control. So that's what we focused on. I, I'm asking you this again because it kind of applies to your experience in Lethbridge. We talked then that you even noticed strategy evolving as that week went on. So we're, we're, whatever, eight months, nine months away from that event, back from that. Have you noticed even a change in the way the game is played ever, even since uh, Lethbridge even? Do you, do you see the game evolving in this short period of time? Uh, yes and no. Um, you know, I think the Canadians are definitely getting better at it. The, the field here is awesome. The level of play is awesome. But maybe at the Canadians three, four years ago, we were still in that learning stage. Whereas I think we're finally at the stage where I'd say the Canadian teams, they know what they're doing now. Uh, so the shots they're playing are maybe a little bit different than that, what they would have at the start. I know for sure, like for me, for our team, we're definitely playing things a little bit different. And, and I find even at the Worlds, the teams there were playing different than here. So there's, there's different strategies. So for whoever wins this week, I'm sure Jeff's got lots of notes and lots of things to catch up, up on. All right, the, the beat goes on. Uh, you guys look comfortable out there, and I think that's, that's not an under, uh, undervalued thing in the sport of mixed doubles curling. Comfort is hard to come by at times, and you guys look comfortable. Yeah, I think that explains it. Uh, we're having fun, we're enjoying it. Um, we're pretty comfortable with the ice, and we're just making a lot of nice shots. So, um, yeah, that, that's... <laughs> it seems easy right now because we have the ice figured out, I think, but, um, you know, it could change uh, any time. So you just got to stay focused. When you look at your schedule and you see certain teams that kind of stand out just based on name recognition, I suspect that was one of those games where you guys know you have to be at your best. From that perspective, you must be pretty thrilled with the way you guys responded. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, in mixed doubles, you have to play great no matter who you're playing. So, But yeah, we're very happy with that result. Oh, so close to getting a playoff position clinched. I know you're not thinking in terms of that, but uh, you, you must know that you're close. So I imagine the mission tomorrow is not to slow down and not let the, uh, the, the foot off the pedal. Yeah, the mission tomorrow is to keep doing what we've been doing, just keep doing the little things, communicating, having fun. Um, and then the wins hopefully will come um, if they don't. As long as we're doing the little things right, uh, that's still a good sign. You gotta keep focusing. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So that was a very, very important win to keep your playoff hopes alive, obviously, and you must be very happy with the way your team responded. Oui, définitivement. Euh, personnellement, ça n'a pas été mon meilleur match, mais on a réussi à les faire les pierres dans des moments opportuns. Euh, Peut-être un petit peu de chance. Elle avait une pierre pour quatre points euh, pour nous faire très mal. Elle l'a raté, ça nous a permis d'égaliser le pointage. Et puis, je pense qu'on a quand même très bien joué à la fin. Ça nous a, ça nous a permis d'y aller avec la victoire. <laughs> In terms of how important that win was, um, you, you obviously, your team started out very well and then had some struggles with the ice, I'm sure. This is a, a difficult competition, as you know. Um, how important was it to win that game to end those struggles? Uh, it was clearly very important because mentally, the la, la last defeat we had was quite hard. So to win on the last piece, it did good, it did good moral, and we were still there, so it will be a lot for the rest of the tournament. Robert, you're having uh, an experience here that uh, very few people have ever managed to experience, curling with your daughter uh, with a chance to go to the Winter Olympics. Uh, so much at stake, but I imagine you're savoring every moment and you must be ridiculously proud of Emily. Oh, definitely. I mean, she seems... Oh, désolé, désolé, oui, désolé. C'est l'habitude. Oui, définitivement, écoute, 
j'allais dire, je ne sais pas comment le dire en français, mais elle n'a comme pas de breaking point. C'est très impressionnant à son jeune âge. Mais elle a joué au tennis pendant cinq ans au niveau compétitif, donc elle est habituée à la compétition. Puis je pense que c'est tout ce bagage-là euh, qu'elle amène avec elle, là, les années à jouer, puis parfois à pleurer sur le terrain, puis à apprendre à gérer les émotions. Je pense que c'est ce qui fait qu'aujourd'hui, elle est capable malgré tous ces gros noms-là, les, les gens qu'elle joue, euh, contre qui elle joue, c'est les gens qui jouent à la, toujours à la télévision. Puis ça n'affecte pas vraiment beaucoup son jeu. Alors vraiment, c'est remarquable, c'est impressionnant. Euh, c'est sûr que fier, c'est un, un mot minimum pour qualifier là, euh, sa performance et comment je me sens. Well, congratulations. The mixed doubles, you know, you see a lot of crooked numbers up on the board, but there were only ones there. How did that kind of feel or to see a game like that go about with only ones being scored? Uh, man, I, you know, at the beginning of the game, it looked we were in trouble a bunch of times and managed to get away with only getting ones or, you know, sneaking a one out of there. And then, you know, we were, were fortunate enough to force them a few times. I think it's just the way the game went. You know, teams kind of gave one back or gave one to the other team. It wasn't, it wasn't a great played game, but I mean, we'll, we'll take, take it. it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jen, I know that you say that. Uh, you think back on your last rock on the eighth there. Um, could you just reflect on that and how um, Mark really helped out to clear out that end in the extra to, to really open up the space there? Oh, he's just an incredible shot maker. He bailed me out a bunch of times that game. And I really, if I, my, my reflection on the last shot in eight is I wish I never said, whoa, and then we would have gone by. But, she uh, she had a better sweeper. <laughs> so, you know, it was a, it wasn't an easy shot. We had to be a little bit tight to the guard, but, uh, it was close. And at the way the end was going, I was almost happy to just make sure we only gave up a steal of one and go to the extra. And we obviously had a much better end in the extra. I know you guys aren't thinking about playoffs yet, but four wins puts you in a pretty good spot for that. Uh, how do you go forward looking into tomorrow now with the final day of round robin? Yeah, we got a couple tough games tomorrow. So, I mean, let's just try to get the five wins before we get the six. And then, you know, that's kind of the way I'm looking at it anyway. Let's just keep going one game at a time. And then our goal at the beginning was just get ourselves in playoffs and then see how everything shakes up after that. So also, event is just about as much fun as interacting with the fans and Jen saw you interacting with some young ones there. What does that mean to you to be able to see so many people share in this passion of the sport with you? Well, it's really, it's almost what it's all about and it's fun to be able to see some fans come out to support us and hopefully we're going to grow the sport of mixed doubles curling, which is a ton of fun to play and hopefully a lot of curling clubs will start some mixed doubles leagues because I think it's a way to keep their curling club going. So it's great to see so many fans and some young ones out too.